All right, so I just want to start this video off again by giving a massive, massive shout out to FOH Films. Go subscribe to his channel and check out his videos. He has speaker related videos and a Q&A with me. That guy is helping me out so, so much with designs for my new system. And then my mind changes every five seconds and I've gone from wanting two Ultimax 12s to the reference HO 12s purely because they're rated at 100 watts more, they play down to the same frequencies, they have bigger magnets, they have a lower resonant frequency, and they're 40 something dollars cheaper, and they're currently in stock. So I am gonna get him to throw me some box designs for those HO12s, the dual voice coil ones, because they have a more optimal impedance as well for the Sir and Vega, because the I would have that, that runs two ohms per channel uh, as its lowest impedance. Uh, the Ultimaxes would have been 4 ohms a channel, whereas with those references I can actually run it at 2 ohms a channel. Which is awesome because at 2 ohms a channel, that thing uh, is supposed to be able to push 1400 watts RMS to each channel. And those subs peak at 1400 watts RMS, so it's going to be an absolute perfect match. It's going to be amazing. So I'm going to go for the reference because they're slightly more powerful and who can't argue with more power. So with that being said, at the moment I'm just running the Sherwoods. Uh, the center channel and oh, the Velodyne. So I'm gonna have uh, throw in some videos at the end of this uh, that Velodyne putting in work. Thing digs deep and one thing that really sucks about this room and it's gonna be the same once I have the references in here. This room doesn't hit low. Does not hit low. That sub plays into the mid to low 20s with ease. Uh, sitting on the couch, nothing. Sitting on there, I mean there, nothing. If I open these cupboard doors and stand there, you get some lows, but it's not until you go into the next room across that way, which is my toilet, that you'll actually go really, really low frequencies. So, unfortunately for me, I'm kind of stuck with a non-low hitting room here. It's still going to play a lot lower than the 18s did, but uh, we'll have to wait till I move house and then we'll have some sick stuff. But basically, I'm just going to go over the design of the system and then I'll have another quick... Uh, this is just going to be a very short video, by the way, and then I'll have another separate video completely which will go into much more detail of all the components I'm using. So, there's my lens cap. <laughs> uh, for rears, I'll just tell you woofer sizes. For rears, there's gonna be a five inch woofer and a an, uh, Dayton Audio Air Motion tweeter. And they're gonna be there and there. They're gonna be a nice little sealed white paint, painted boxes. Now, the center channel, the left and the right are all gonna be dual six inches with those Air Motion tweeters in the middle. So it's gonna be six, six inch, uh, air motion tweeter and then another six inch sealed enclosure all three are going to be exactly the same uh, I'm going to build stands for the center channel so the center channel will be up and that way and then stands on the outside so the outside speakers will be up and they'll be up that way because height dominance you want them slightly higher than your ears and then uh, where that sub is there will be the two uh, references there and there so it's going to look absolutely awesome uh, basically the only detail I haven't given away is the woofers I'm going to be using in all the surround sound speakers, but reference HO12 for sub, air motion tweeters all around because they are the sexiest things I've ever listened to. Well, not ever listened to, I have listened to a set of uh, BMW, no, not BMW, uh, BNW, uh, the 800 series, I forgot what the model is, uh, the Hi-Fi store in Melbourne had them in this nice showroom and they sounded incredibly awesome. But uh, I'm going to zoom you in on the TV right now so you can have a quick look at what I'm looking at here. So if we have a quick look, here's our, our reference. Nice gold plated terminals, pretty sexy looking thing. Ultimax silver, but uh, all beefy cast frame uh, baskets and that. My camera is really struggling to focus. Uh, let's just turn autofocus off for now. But uh, they're both bloody sexy woofers, but if we have a look here, the reference is $139 uh, on sale at the moment, as you can see, the sale up there. And uh, the Ultimax is $179, so $40 dearer, which is like 50 Australian dollars. Um, and it's out of stock and it's due back in stock almost a month ago now, but I don't know what the deal is with that. So I'm kind of leaning away from the Ultimax. The frequency response is the same pretty much. Everything's pretty much the same. But let's have a quick look at specs here. I'm actually gonna get up and get closer again. If we have a look at the specs, 
uh, turn autofocus back on now. We can see, here's the reference. We have a 12 inch, 700 watts RMS, 12 inch, 600 watts, peaks at 1200, peaks at 1400, much, much suit, better suiting impedance on this one for my amplifier. Uh, both play down to 20 hertz. Uh, it doesn't play as high, but who gives a shit? It's not going to be playing above 100 hertz anyway. Slightly bigger coil as well. Um, doesn't list the magnet for the Ultimax, but I'm pretty sure they're very, very similar. Resonant frequency is much lower. And uh, much bigger, well, not much bigger, but actually a bigger cone area on the reference as well, which is probably because it doesn't have that ginormous fat surround. But with that being said, that's what I'm probably going to be using, or that's what I'm going to be using as subs. So again, go and check out FOH Films. Check out his YouTube channel. Link will be in the description. Uh, my internet is not working very well at the moment. Link to his channel will be in the description below. Also, I now have faster internet, as you can see. Uh, it actually loaded, uh, so I can upload more frequently. Uh, my upload speed is now about 20 times faster than it used to be, so... Check out Front of House Films, his channel is awesome, he has many many videos and he's just about to release uh, a video of some speakers he's just built, so go check that out, go check out the Q&A that he did with me, as you can tell, let's turn my volume up once that loads, uh, I'm in that Q&A, so go check that out, with that, see, hear my voice, with that being said, that's pretty much it, that's, that's just a little update as to what's happening. I haven't done anything in this video, but at the moment, it's really hard for me to be producing videos because I'm literally just waiting for components to come in and then I can start the build whenever I get spare time because at the moment, I'm extremely, extremely busy with school and work and other work and then trying to fit in social life and, and also making videos. I'm really, really pushed for time at the moment. But with that being said, let's just abuse this Velodyne for a second. It's, I think, a 4 ohm sub, and that amp's supposed to be doing like a thousand watts at 4 ohms, and that's only 150 watts. So, also, it's in parallel at the moment, so I'm only running one channel. It's not bridge, that's why the powers seem so low. So, let's abuse the Velodyne, and uh, that's what I'm just running in here as a temporary sub setup. I'm pretty sure the Sherwoods have just as much bass anyway, but they don't dig anywhere near as low as the Velodyne does. So, with that being said, Let's crank the Velodyne up. I am really abusing this, so God knows if it's working too hard, but um, man, this thing's nice. Man, you can actually feel the thing kick you in the chest. the video there because I have a gig tonight with uh, dad's band and dad plays bass guitar so he's going over songs and uh, the bass frequencies from this subwoofer are too loud and uh, distracting him from practicing songs which is fair enough but I don't really think it's all that loud it's only a little 10 inch but hey it's probably way louder in other rooms than it is in this room just like everything it's always louder outside this room than it is inside the room and it's really weird just the, the the weirdest thing is it's actually it's quieter like the loudest spot in this room to stand is just there it's actually quieter just here than it pretty much is down at my neighbor's place it's pretty much exactly the same volume but with that being said that's pretty much it for this video i didn't do anything in the video it's basically just a little update talky type video so if you guys have enjoyed it just got a snapchat if you've enjoyed it, chuck a like down below and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video where hopefully I'm gonna start building stuff or I'm just gonna have to keep messing around. So this stuff's all for sale on eBay at the moment, but that's why it's all still here. So I'm trying to get rid of it. But with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. 
and uh, see you later.